For the sake of a simple comparison, let's guess that they're similar in scale. If so, there must be about five and a half times as many dark matter particles as there is light matter particles, right? But the mass of visible matter is 99% binding energy. Since dark matter particles don't bind or clump together or react to forces like the strong nuclear force, then dark matter particles do not have a 100 times mass multiplying force like the strong nuclear force. Thus, it stands to reason that the number of dark matter particles would need to be 100 times greater to make an equivalent mass. If that's even approximately correct, then there would be about 500 dark matter particles for each quark or electron. Then you begin to see how important the binding, combining, reactive nature of quarks and electrons are. Because quarks and electrons bind, combine, connect, and interact with each other, because they respond to the strong and weak nuclear forces, electromagnetism, and gravity, these rare little particles became the building blocks for the entire visible universe. Quarks and electrons are probably less than 1% of all matter particles in the universe, but they bind together and they make everything we see, touch, and connect with. They make us. 99% of our mass comes from the strong nuclear force. The strong force binds the protons and neutrons in every one of our heavier atoms together in their atomic nuclei. Electromagnetism binds the protons and electrons in everything together. We see electromagnetic waves. When we touch something and push against it, we feel a solid surface because the electrons in our skin push against and repel the electrons in the object we are touching. The complex organic molecules that form every structure in our bodies are formed by sharing or exchanging electrons between atoms in complex structures like sugars, proteins, nucleotides, etc. Our cells combine into tissues of many kinds, each defined by the DNA and proteins they manifest. Binding, connecting, building complex structures, making life. Binding makes life, organic compounds, cell structures, living organisms, all of the way to humans. And it all starts with three magnificent little quarks bound together in a proton. Please check out full video and audio episodes of Being Humans Together on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify.